All right, guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the 14 highest paying freelance jobs that you can land online in 2024. And many of these you can actually land relatively easily without Woo! having that much experience. Or at the very least, you can learn them relatively quickly and relatively inexpensively without having mm -hmm. to get a college degree. So without further ado, right after you gently cheers the like button, we're gonna jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a Google merchant expert. And these are basically the middlemen in the online shopping frenzy. So Google merchant is very similar to Amazon, but it's Google's version of it. And this is all part of Google's evil plan to take over the world and rule just about every industry out there. Halfway kidding there, you know, obviously I am a big fan of Google. YouTube is owned by Google. Please don't delete my YouTube channel, Google. <laughs> but yeah, very powerful company. Also, honestly, a really good company. They have a lot of great products. But Google Merchant Services is getting more and more popular and more people are starting to use Google Store. And considering there's so many searches every single day on Google and YouTube, and Google has access to pretty much all of the internet's data, probably a pretty good idea to learn how to do this. And there's not that many people who are familiar with how to use these platforms. So just as an example, here's somebody who basically specializes as a freelancer in Google Shopping Ads and the Merchant Center. And they charge about $75 to $125 an hour to do their work. Here's another one on Fiverr, and they typically charge about $60 to $150 per gig. And so considering Google is such a powerful company, they have so much data, they have so many people using the platform every single day, I believe that Google Merchant and Google Shopping is going to be more and more popular in the near future. And so it's probably a great idea to learn this as a skill, as more and more people are going to be searching for people who are good at running these types of ads. And the coolest thing is Google actually offers entire classes on how to do this for free. So they literally just train people on how to use their platform. So yeah, I think this one is an incredible opportunity. It's gonna be even bigger in the future. So it's probably a good idea to get in early while you still can, and it's still a really good opportunity. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's gonna be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live interactive Zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the five biggest secrets when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full-time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full-time, but within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full-time job. Now, if you wanna do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. It. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be a Pinterest manager. So Pinterest is one of the most popular social media apps for women. And women make 70 to 80% of all purchasing decisions. And right now, just because of the fact that this is not one of the platforms that people focus on a lot, buying ads on Pinterest is actually relatively cheap. And selling products on Pinterest is relatively easy to do as well. And so if you can learn how to properly use Pinterest, if you can learn how to use Pinterest ads, and if you can learn how to manage a Pinterest account and post on it, that can be an incredibly good opportunity. And it looks like the average salary per hour for Pinterest managers is about $15 to $30 an hour right now. You know, this seller, for instance, charges about $10 to $25 an hour. And this freelancer charges about $15 to $50 an hour. And full-time Pinterest marketing managers will make around $90,000 a year, according to Comparably. And even if you're brand new and you have no experience, you just have an interest in Pinterest, maybe you use it yourself, you can still charge around 15 to $20 an hour as a newbie just to get some experience, get that work in and basically get your foot in the door. So like I said, we do a ton of research on these videos. We try to kind of like predict what opportunities are sort of not saturated yet, but they're going to get even bigger in the future. And this is another one of those where I see it as a great opportunity right now. It's going to get even bigger in the future. And it's at that point where not that many people have gotten into it. And this is the perfect time for you to basically enter the market, learn these skills, get familiar with the platform, get familiar with how to use it and you can make a ton of money in the future. So with this one, it's a little bit less high paying than the other one, but I do think there's also more opportunities right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. All right, so the next freelance job on the list is going to be digital designer, but you need to niche down. 
okay? So digital design in general is very similar to graphic design, but it's done in the digital world. And you might be thinking, oh, those two are the exact same thing, right? Well, not exactly because graphic design could be designing things digitally, but then they're actually put out in the real world. Whereas digital design is designed to only be in the digital world. And there are certain niches within digital design that can be incredibly profitable. For instance, there are digital designers that are making millions from in-game fashion. And these are on games such as Roblox and Fortnite. For instance, there's a 22 year old from Florida named Samuel who made over a million dollars in sales in 2021 alone. So here's the thing about niches like this where it's sort of a common skill set. If you just advertise yourself as a digital designer or a graphic designer, you're probably not gonna get that many gigs and the gigs you do get are going to be relatively cheap, right? So you're not gonna get paid that much per hour unless you're just insanely good. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick a specific niche such as in-game design, maybe even pick a specific game that you design for, and that is going to be your gig and your niche that you offer, right? And digital graphic designers that get paid full-time make about $27 an hour, which is already pretty good, and graphic designers on Upwork cost around $15 to $35 an hour on average. But if you specialize in niche down, you can get paid much, much higher than this, right? So this is one of those things where you wanna keep your finger on the pulse of all of these different things that are happening, look for these different niches that are emerging and then specialize in that type of design. So yeah, this one is really good as long as you niche down and as long as you specialize, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a YouTube channel manager. And this also falls under the category of a YouTube creative director or a YouTube content strategist. And this is kind of like being the backstage maestro of a YouTube channel, orchestrating every aspect of the channel's performance with finesse. And in this position, you'd be responsible responsible for strategizing, creating, and optimizing content for a YouTube channel to maximize viewership and engagement. Now, as you probably know, YouTube is incredibly profitable. It's by far the most profitable platform. It's the only platform where creators are making over $100 million a year, and people like Mr. Beast are getting far more exposure than entire news networks. And YouTube channel managers make about $68 an hour, which is $142,000 a year, according to ZipRecruiter. So these content creators are making a ton of money but they're also stressed out, right? They need someone to come in and take some of the stress and some of the work off of their plate. And that's where the YouTube channel manager comes in. So yeah, I think this one is an incredible opportunity. You can make some top tier content. Like if you accidentally get a little bit of water in your eye, you could make a video like this. Definitely gotta give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score, although I am biased. YouTube has completely changed my life. I grew up watching YouTube. I started a bunch of random channels. Like my first channel was on RuneScape. I was basically just fighting people on RuneScape and then uploading videos. And it was always my dream to be a YouTuber and I made it, you know, I, I made it a reality. And I actually started coaching my friends and then random people that reached out to me and I started getting them results as well. And now I do accept a few people every month into my coaching program. And I also have a free training which you can check out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I will warn you, we are pretty picky about who we accept into the coaching program. We only accept people who take it very seriously because we don't have that much time and we can't waste any time on people who don't take YouTube seriously. But yeah, if you think you're a good fit for the coaching program, or if you just wanna check out the free training, go ahead and check that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a media buyer. So this is basically somebody who purchases advertising spots or advertising space and time to promote products or services across various different media channels. So for instance, you might promote products on Facebook, you'd be a Facebook media ads buyer. You might promote products on YouTube, you'd be a YouTube media ads buyer. And these types of positions, you're usually gonna charge between $50 and $200 per hour on a site like Upwork. And if you work a full-time job, you'll typically get paid between $63 and $101,000 a year. Now, again, this is one of those where if you specialize and you get really good at a particular platform, you're probably going to be able to make a lot more money. I know media buyers that make half a million dollars a year, for instance. So yeah, this one is really good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that's relatively similar is a digital marketing consultant. So media buying is of course a type of digital marketing. There's a lot of other different types of digital marketing out there as well. For instance, SEO or search engine optimization. This is how you get blogs or news articles or content to rank at the top of Google. And you'd basically just be consulting different businesses on how to do their digital marketing strategy. So just as an example, right now, what's working really well in digital marketing 
is content, right? So quality content is the king of digital marketing. 70% of internet users want to get information about products through content instead of traditional advertisements. That's one of the reasons why YouTube, for instance, is one of the best ways to make money. Another really good way of making money is of course running paid ads. As a digital marketing consultant on Upwork, they're typically gonna make between 15 and $45 an hour. But again, if you specialize, you can make a lot more than that. However, if you get a full-time job, digital marketing consultant make between 81 and $140,000 a year. So yeah, this is another really good one. As always, make sure you specialize, make sure you have a specific thing that you like to consult on, a specific thing that you are very, very good at getting people results with and good things will happen. So yeah, this one is great. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight and a half out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you wanna get a job in digital marketing, because that's what a lot of people do at first, they just get a job, learn the skills, basically get paid to learn the skills. And then later on, move into freelancing, you know, start their own business or get a better job. I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get entry level jobs in digital marketing without needing a college degree or previous experience. And they were all able to do this by my good friend and business partner, Seth. And Seth is basically the goat of getting people jobs in digital marketing. And Seth actually does have a free masterclass where he's gonna explain exactly what digital marketing is, the different types of jobs that he recommends you get in digital marketing, which one might be the best for you, and whether digital marketing in general is gonna be a good fit for your personality. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a Google Ads specialist. And Google Ads is basically the platform that people spend the most money on out of all the different platforms out there. And you've probably seen Google Ads thousands of times before. You search something on Google and there's an ad that pops up at the top. So this is a type of digital marketing like I talked about before. It's one of the better ones as well. Um, again, this is an example of you specializing. And Google Ads experts make about $15 to $40 an hour on Upwork. So yeah, not gonna go too deep into this one because I already talked about it a lot, but this is a really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, another job that's relatively similar to this is going to be a social media manager. And this is basically where you manage a social media platform or maybe a bunch of different social media platforms. So typically, this is going to be where you coordinate the content that gets posted, make sure it gets posted on time, make sure it doesn't have any mistakes, it, it has the right links in it, all that kind of thing. Sometimes in different types of positions, you might also strategize on the content. You might also be the one who helps to create the content. It really depends on the position that you're in. And generally speaking, on Upwork, social media managers make about $14 to $35 an hour. Again, really helps if you specialize in a particular platform. And full-time social media managers make about $65,000 a year. So these digital marketing jobs are great because they actually prefer to hire younger people for these jobs. And it makes sense because younger people grew up using social media so they understand the platform platforms on a deeper level. And so it's much easier for you to get a job in a lot of these different digital marketing related careers than many other types of careers out there like coding or something in technology. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video and you haven't done it already, stop being a lurker. Go ahead, subscribe to the video down below. I think only 15 to 20% of you are subscribed. I can see it in the analytics, guys. Don't be a lurker. Go ahead and subscribe if you appreciate this. All right, so next one is going to be a YouTube script writer. And this is one that I am seeing, I'm predicting it right now, this one is gonna blow up in the next few years. Because one of the biggest pain points I hear when I meet with other YouTubers, when I talk with other YouTubers, is they have a lot of trouble writing scripts. It's one of those things where it's very difficult to have someone else to help you research and write the scripts. So if you can be somebody who can go in there, you understand how YouTube works, you understand how to make scripts easily readable by the person who's actually presenting them, this can be a very lucrative career for you. Now, according to Glassdoor, YouTube script writers make about $24 an hour. There's also a lot of opportunities for script writers on websites like ytjobs.co. And yeah, this is one of those careers that I foresee blowing up in the near future. If you can even save the creator an hour or two on every single video he creates, if it's a creator that's making a ton of money, like $100,000 a month, you are going to be saving them a significant amount of time and money. So yeah, this one's really good. Um, I will say it's still in the infancy stage right now. And there's positives to that, but there's also negatives to that. So the positives are you can get in early, you can learn how to do this right now, and you're going to be one of the best in the world in a very short period of time. 
time because not that many people are doing it. The negatives are the infrastructure for getting into this type of thing is not really developed. And so it can be kind of hard to get a job here. But with that being said, this one is still good. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a course writer. So this is where you would help people create info products. So this could be anything from an online course or a coaching program where there's basically information that people are consuming online. Now, according to Glassdoor, course writers make about 56 to $92,000 a year. Curriculum writers make about $27 an hour, according to ZipRecruiter. So that's very similar. And here's a story of somebody who made $20,000 in one two week Upwork freelance writing project. So yeah, you can definitely make money doing this. Now, if you were to combine this skill with instructional design, which is basically where you design online courses as well, you can make a ton of money doing that. I'm talking like as a freelancer, you could probably make $200,000, $300,000 a year. So yeah, this one's really good. Um, especially if you combine it with instructional design and especially if you sort of specialize like I talked about before. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're enjoying any of these, let me know which one was your favorite. Also, if you don't like some of them, let me know as well. And if you think I should have included different ones on the video, go ahead, comment down below and let me know which ones I should have included. And of course, I always read your comments and there's a good chance that I'll either include it in a future video or if there's one you really liked, I'll go in more detail on it. Next is going to be a project manager. And they basically oversee the planning, execution, and delivery of projects within specified constraints, such as time, budget, and scope. And this one works really well with freelancing because a lot of the time a company will want to launch a project, but they don't necessarily want to hire someone full time because for one, they don't know whether the project is going to work or not. They also know that it might be just like a one quarter or a two quarter project. And then they're going to make the decision on whether they're going to continue with it or not. And then sometimes they just want somebody to come in and help them launch the project and then once it's afloat, once it's kind of like working on its own, they don't necessarily need a project manager anymore. And project managers typically make about 19 to $45 an hour on Upwork. Again, if you specialize in something, you can make a lot more than this. And project managers that work full-time jobs typically make about $49 an hour according to ZipRecruiter. So yeah, this one can be really good as well. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. All right, so next one is going to be a bookkeeper. And this one is oftentimes mixed up with an accountant. And there are a lot of similarities and over Overlaps, but as a bookkeeper, at least in the United States, you don't have to get an accounting degree or become a certified accountant in order to do it. And this is basically somebody who maintains financial records, including purchases, sales, receipts, and payments for individuals or businesses. Now, this one can be really good, especially at certain times of the year. And bookkeepers in general on Upwork charge about $11 to $25 an hour, but during tax season, they typically charge more than this. And according to Glassdoor, bookkeepers make about $24 an hour. So this one's pretty good. Um, it's not amazing, but but it's one where it's relatively easy to get into. It doesn't require a whole lot of training or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next is going to be a podcast host or a podcast assistant. Basically, anything related to podcasts. So podcasts are incredibly profitable right now. And the great thing about podcasts is you can kind of just put them on in the background if you're cleaning your house or if you're driving somewhere. And if you can specialize in podcasting and just understand how the industry works and how the different jobs work, you can get paid a ton of money to do this. And there's all kinds of different podcast related gigs, anything from setting up a podcast, because honestly, the technology is a little bit complicated, all the way to advertising the podcast or being a podcast host. So for instance, podcast hosts get paid about 15 to $25 an hour. And you can make much more than that if you specialize in something when it comes to podcasts. And this is one, again, where there's a lot of podcasters out there making a lot of money, but they're also spending a lot of time making their content. And if you can just save them even a few hours per week, that's probably worth it for them to hire you full time and pay you a very good salary. So yeah, this one is really good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an oldie but a goodie, and that is email marketing. So email marketing, marketing has been around for you know over 20 years now. And it's basically been one of the kings or the queens of marketing the entire time. And although it seems like it might be boring, it is still incredibly effective. In fact, in terms of ROI, just about nothing else out there beats email marketing. They estimate that you'll make about 35 to $40 for every $1 you spend 
on email marketing. Pretty hard to beat those numbers. And email marketers on websites like Upwork make about $15 to $40 per hour. Now, of course, there's specialized types of email marketers. So for instance, e-com email marketing where you sell physical products is completely different than information product email marketing. So you'd wanna specialize, right? Always niche down, always specialize, and you'll get paid a lot more if you do that. Other websites, for instance, email marketers that freelance get paid about 75 to $125 an hour. So yeah, email marketing is incredible. It's still one of the best ways of marketing out there. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, I did a video that went viral, got a couple hundred thousand views, and it's basically the freelancing for beginners tier list that talks about a bunch of different types of freelancings and which ones are the best. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.